Hello, hello, hello. We are live. We are live. Hi, everybody. My name is Kara Lockwood. My company is Kara's Color Me Creative. And I am coming here on, let's see, we're on Facebook and YouTube every Wednesday night for Wind Down Wednesday. <clears throat> During Wine Down Wednesday, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite wines, but I'm also going to share with you an activity that will help you relax and will also exercise your creative muscles. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you pop on here, just make sure that you say hi and let me know where you're coming from. Hello, hello, hello. Um, if you are using Facebook, you're going to have to grant uh, Facebook StreamYard permission to use your name. Otherwise, I just see Facebook user. And that's what I just saw pop up on Facebook users. So I don't know who you are because um, I'm using StreamYard. So I am on YouTube and Facebook. Eventually, this platform, hi, Mary Lou. Event eventually, this platform is going to go exclusively to YouTube. But for now, as I grow it, hi, Derek. Um, I will be using Facebook and YouTube. So today we are going to do what is called neurographic art, okay? Neurographic art, and I'm gonna explain that to you in a little bit, but it was um, <clears throat> invented by a, oh, I think a German artist, and it's just a process of art that helps you kind of relax, control your mind, and zero in on focusing and breathing okay it's just a meditative art hi michelle hey barbara so i'm going to go ahead right now since a few of you are on here i'm going to share the wine of the day so today i am drinking a cabernet sauvignon and this is from pasa robles this is called bookbinder it's not one of the lower priced wines. Um, last time I shared with you a very moderate priced wine that was about $20 a bottle. This is in the $50 a bottle range, so it's a treat. But I had a special celebration last night with my husband, and so we had three-fourths of the bottle, so I have a little bit of this left. Um, it's really good. You can see it's heavy-bodied. It's yummy. These are Scout and Cellar Clean Crafted Wine. So I will put information on that in the comments below. But if you're interested in clean crafted wine without all the extra chemical, with very low sulfites and low sugars, this is going to be the wine for you to try. You're going to want to try it. Barbara Klepper is on here right now. She's one of my members of the wine club. I'm going to have a sip and we're going to get to creating. Okay. Monica. So Paso Robles. So this wine is from Paso Robles. And this is a place that my husband and I, we lived in California. We visited four years in a row for our anniversary. And that's how much we loved it. And I fell in love with Paso Robles Cabernet. And so when, hi, Kiri Kiri Boberry, when Scout and Cellar had this Paso Robles Cabernet, I was like, I'm going to have to try that. Um, so that was definitely a treat for me. So if you didn't catch two weeks ago, we did this project here and I kind of added to it and made it super pretty. Um, but today we're gonna do neurographic art. So this is neurographic art right here. And so is this. So where I'm gonna show you how I create these really, really fun patterns and make them look a little bit more bulky and, and cool. Um, but you will see how, nah. thanks Barbara. Yeah, I'll put the information on the wine in the comments below after I um, finish this. So all you need for this project is a Sharpie and some watercolor or even markers or crayons or colored pencil. That's all you need. Um, and if you're at home, I can't play music because, you know, licensing stuff. But if you're at home, put on some music, put on your stretchy pants, grab your favorite glass of wine or tea or whatever your evening drink of choice is, and let's get creating and relaxing, okay? We're gonna wind down. Okay, so neurographic art um, is just a simple form of art that is supposed to help you just kind of dive into your subconscious and just kind of forget what you're doing and relax. I love it because it ends up looking like little synopsises, like brain synopsises. And 
Um, I used to be in the preschool world and early childhood education. So synopsis, that's the connection, right? The can, when, when your brain has an aha moment, it makes a connection and it fires. And so if you look at these little um, neurographic art examples that I did, all of these look like little synopsises where your, your, your neurons in your brain fired. And so I find that kind of fun. And then you can see how it's thick here. And I found that interesting because when I do my doodles, here's some examples of my doodles. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that really well, but when I do my doodles, I painstakingly get into the little crevices and I make them thicker and darker in spots. And I've always done that. And I thought, oh, wow, maybe I'm doing neurographica right there. So it's nice and thick right there. I do that on purpose, um, but that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these beautiful designs. <clears throat> it's definitely a great doodling technique. You're going to start off of the page. <clears throat> uh, let's see who's here. Monica's here. Carrie's here. Barbara's here. All right. Michelle's here. Veronica's Derek's here. Nice. Okay. So you're going to start with a Sharpie marker and you're going to start off the page and you're just going to do a little scribble, right? So we're just going to write nice, smooth lines and just let your pen flow. Don't think about it. And then you're going to want to end off the page. Okay. So you start on the page, off the page. This is where I need to put my glasses on. How many of you are over 50 and cannot get by without your glasses? I think when I first got my glasses, I was 40 and I could get by without them. And then as I age, it becomes harder and harder and harder. And now it's just like my husband and I both can't see. So <clears throat> how we're going to transform this into that Nero Graphica is every place where there's an intersection, we're going to fill it in. We're going to round it out. Okay. So every intersection, I'm just going to go over the line and then round it out. Okay. So just like that. Okay. So I'm going to round these out. And it just becomes really pretty. Now, my marker is bleeding a little bit because it's not the right kind of paper, but that's okay. So every little intersection we're going to round out and you're going to see it's going to start looking. Fix that to make it look pretty. You can round it out in a really thick way or you can round it out thin. You can use the thin edge of your marker or the thick edge. You just want to round it up so there's no sharp corners <clears throat> and you're looking like you've got like, hmm, let me get you closer. Little synopsis. There we go. That's better, right? <laughs> yeah, you need your glasses everywhere you go, right? Like I cannot even manage without them. It's ridiculous. But it's hard for me to read the phone screen with them on. So that's another thing. Like sometimes I have to take them on and off all the time. So I rounded out all those corners. <clears throat> now I did not make it on last week because I was a little bit under the weather, but I will be coming on every week. So if you want a fun activity to do at night, learn about relaxing art forms, learn about clean crafted wine, however you want to use this time. See, there's another corner I missed and watch the difference between this little spot right here. It's going to look so cool. Isn't that cool, you guys? <clears throat> so we're going to go through it every little corner in this doohickey and there are a lot and round it out. Have you guys ever heard of neurographic art? 
I had not heard of it and I stumbled upon it and I just got obsessed. And it's a really, I think, well, I'm going to make a big canvas using it. Using this technique, I'm going to make a huge canvas. You did drawings like this in Catholic school? I don't doubt it. It's been around for a while. Oh, I got a little paper with some, some um, facts, but I forgot to bring it in here. I'm really surprised Mr. Larry Garf at Pacific Oaks College did not teach us this, but we did something similar. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? So doesn't that make like a big difference to like draw those in like that? Oh, I think it does. So I did the other night, I, I worked on two of these in a row because I was like, oh, I did one and then I wanted to do another one right away because it was so relaxing. So see all these and, and you, you look at it and every time you look at it, you can find some more corners. You just keep on filling them up. Hello, Denise O'Hare. Doing it without really knowing you were doing it. Yeah. Because like when I when I look at my doodles, I do that where I and I talk about that in my dots, doodles and daisies class where I'm like, OK, thicken up where there's an intersection, you know, and those are flowers. So I'm talking about where the stem hits the flower or whatever. I'm like thicken that up just for effect and drama. And I never realized like, OK, that's very similar to this. I mean, I was doing it for aesthetics. And this is for relaxation. I'm trying to see if I have any more curve areas or corners, intersections. Can you guys see any more intersections? It'd be like a, a word search, right? And you're going to have to tell me there's one, there's one. I can't see if I do. Oh, look at here's one, just a really soft one, but still an intersection. Which means there's one there too and one here too oh here's one see they just keep on popping up okay anything else i can always fill more in later if i missed one okay we're going to get the watercolors out okay the center did i miss one in the center Oh, yes, I did. Look at that. Thank you, Denise. That's a big one, huh? So if you if you try this activity and, and you post it on Facebook or anywhere else, I would love it if you hashtag my name, hashtag Kara Lockwood. Or you could hashtag Kara's crew, or you could hashtag wind down Wednesday, whatever you want. But my name would be great if you try this, but it's neuropathic, neurographic art, not pathic. Okay, so I've got some watercolors and we're just gonna start making this real pretty. I might have to tilt back my easel a little bit. I'm going to start with the hot colors. I love to start with the hot colors and then cool it down. Okay, let's see if this will not, if I can do it so it won't bleed everywhere. Okay, hot colors, are you ready? <laughs> oh, I think I need a sip of my wine too. 
So if this is your first time here, I'm coming on every week and we're doing Wine Down Wednesdays and I'm sharing with you what wine I'm drinking and a calming art activity. We'll see if this is going to work with the water. No. Nah. I'm going to have to tilt this. I didn't bring home my overhead um, tripod today. So that's kind of a problem here. You can do whatever you want with the shading. Like I might say, oh, I kind of want it a little bit darker towards the middle. So I'm going to put another layer of this pink right here around the edge. Pretty. Okay, and put some pink over here. I have a simple formula for things like that. Same with flowers. I'm going to put the color in three spots. Every color I choose. And then one of them is going to be in a large spot. And then for this painting, I'm going to try, you know, either two smaller spots or a tiny spot and a medium sized spot but one of the colors will always be in a larger spot. And get that paint, that water up so it doesn't drip. Okay, let's change the color. I'm gonna stay with hot, hot colors. Let's get some of the water off my brush. <clears throat> okay, let's do this down here. Ooh, look at that pretty red. I went outside the line, that's okay. So now I'm going to do this smaller one here. And then this big section up here. Okay, now let's see, let's go to, let's see if I can get a yellow out of this. My water is already pretty pink. <clears throat> let's see how we do with this. This is going to be pretty. Oh yeah. So if you're just coming on, I was talking about Nero graphic art. It's very calming. It's very therapeutic. Um, it's a little bit doodle. It's a lot doodle. It's a lot doodle. It's a lot of doodle. Okay, let's go to green now. Let's try a green. <laughs> Sprinkled. Hi, Luann. Thank you, Luann, for being so patient with my schedule. I had business builders meetings today all day from 11 a.m. until 4. And Luann was supposed to go at 4.15. And then I realized that I scheduled them right up until I was supposed to do this live, which was scheduled and already showing a, a countdown on my page. So I couldn't really cancel it. So. Luann was kind enough to let me reschedule. So Nero Graphic Art, and I am having a Cabernet from Paso Robles, California called Bookbinder. This is <clears throat> Scout and Cellars Clean Crafted Wine. So Wine Down Wednesday. I share a creative art activity, or a, let's see, a, relaxa a relaxing art activity. 
and one of my favorite wines. And I will put all the information in the comments below. Okay, time to go to blue, right? Stop messing around, Kara. Get the blue in there. I love blue. I'm wearing it. I love it. I love blue. Love me some blue. It looks like stained glass. Yes, it does kind of look like stained glass, doesn't it? It's interesting. Um, I will say, it, I mean, doodling, I mean, I tell everybody in my creative group, you really, if you, if you want, if you're an artist, then doodling is one of the greatest things you can do for yourself because you really relax when you doodle because you don't expect anything from yourself. You're doodling on paper. It feels good. The pen on paper a Sharpie, or if you start investing in nicer pens, any pen on paper feels really good. Um, but you will start to grow your creative skills. Yes, Kara's crew, do you agree with me? Is Kara's crew agreeing with me out there? doing this with you, you have me hooked on doodling. <laughs> I know, and you're so good at it. <laughs> Are you having a glass of um, Cabernet too, Luann? I know Luann likes her, her red wine as well. Too much water on that one. Yeah. Let me get it before it drips. There we go. That should be good. Okay, now let's, I'm just trying to go from light, cool colors to dark. So I'm going to go to a purple. And I will get this. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, look at the purple with the yellow and green. Michelle O's favorite combina combination right here. Right? Am I right or am I right? <clears throat> Pretty. Okay, and I'm going to try and find one more color. Hopefully I'm not too muddy. Let's see, something that's going to stand out. Oh, maybe an orange. <clears throat> your yellows. I know Joe loves your yellows. Your yellows. There we go. Look at that beautiful orange. That, so this is this little project was done with only two tools, right? A Sharpie and a watercolor brush. Those are my kind of projects for at nighttime because who wants to clean up after you've already cleaned up? Because I usually try to clean up by five my artwork. So I don't want to clean up again. But this I can take down on the couch if I want to. I'm just going to add this in there. We'll just add a few extra oranges. So vibrant and pretty. I'm okay with it. Oh, look at this little dot right here. Cutie. Okay. And then as this dries, after this dries, I can go, I mean, this is your art, right? Look at that beautiful piece of art. Isn't that so cool? It's very, very relaxing, Barbara. You should try it. But I can go and doodle in there and do whatever I want with these little bubbles of beautiful color. 
Um, but it really is the little synopsis. I'm just going to call them synopsis. See, I missed one right there. That's okay. I can go over it. It really is creating those that makes it look so different than just a regular plain old scribble doodle on paper. Anyways, that's it, guys. Nero graphic art. Kara Lockwood, if you have not followed me on YouTube or Facebook, and so far everyone I see here has, so I appreciate that, go ahead and do that. I would appreciate that. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please give this video a like and maybe share it, do whatever you want. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but I don't like to follow the rules. Um, but I'm Kara Lockwood with Kara's Color Me Creative, and I will be back here every Wednesday night or so. I give myself grace if I can't be here. But most Wednesday nights, I'm going to be here doing Wine Down Wednesday, sharing one of my favorite wines, and sharing a relaxing, creative activity, usually with just pen, pencils, and markers, and watercolor. Simple dimple. Okay? Thanks, guys. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate it.